Hi guys, Tony from GME. Today we're going to run you through the EPIRB self-test procedure using our MT603G EPIRB. It's important to note that each EPIRB model may have a slightly different self-test procedure. The MT603G and our most popular model, the MT600G, both being GPS EPIRBs, have the same self-test procedure. The MT600 non-GPS and our MT410G PLB do have a slightly different test procedure which we'll cover in another video. The procedure that we'll be running through today is the self-test. There is also a GPS acquisition test which needs to be conducted outside and again we'll cover that one in a separate video. But for today we'll focus on the self-test. It's important to remember not to over-test your beacon. We recommend no more than once per month or up to 12 times per year. If you are going on an extended journey, feel free to test the beacon before you go, but remember not to over-test it or you could deplete the battery and the beacon may not operate as intended in an emergency situation. So the first thing to do when you want to test your beacon is remove it from the mounting bracket, ensuring that the antenna is vertical. Lift the latch on the top of the EPIRB. You'll see the on-off switch, which obviously you shouldn't activate unless it is a true emergency. And you'll also see your test button. When you press and hold the test button for two seconds, the green LED on the side of the beacon will flash once, accompanied with a high beep, and the strobe light on the top of the beacon will also flash. That's indicating that the test procedure has started. The beacon will then test four elements of the circuitry. The first is the electrical circuitry within the beacon. The second is the 121.5 MHz homing transmitter. The third is the 406 MHz radio transmitter. And the last test is for the GPS receiver. Now, of course, these are GPS beacons, and as I mentioned, non-GPS beacons will have a different set of lights. When you press the button on the top, you should see four green flashes and four high beeps, followed by one long illumination of the green LED. That's indicating that each of the four tests is successful, and the long green flash at the end indicates that all tests are complete. Now, if at any point the beacon flashes the red LED indicator on any of the four steps of the test, it indicates that there may be an issue with the beacon. Give it 30 seconds, retest the beacon, and if you're still getting a red light flashing, it's time for you to contact GME and organise to return your beacon to our service technicians to have the beacon properly assessed. Once complete, close the latch, reinstall the unit in the mounting bracket on your boat and you're good to go.